So you're gonna have to excuse some background noise today. School holidays here in Australia, and both my girls are at home. You've been you talking. You smell like milk. I smell like milk. <laughs> you smell a bit random yourself. And they're very excited as well because tomorrow we leave for a family holiday. For eight days, we're going to the beautiful South Island of New Zealand, Queenstown, and Wanaka. Can't wait. But in this video, what I'm gonna do with you is share with you. I don't know if being stood up is the exact right term because my wife did rock up, but it's not far off it. I was left a little bit disappointed and I'll share it with you at the end of this video because first up, I have a channel announcement and that is, I've been thinking as this channel grows, can we give it more purpose? And when I say we, I mean you and me because without you watching my videos, I'd just be publishing videos on YouTube and no one would be watching them. So I feel like we're in this together. And what I'm getting at is, as the channel grows, so is the advertising revenue. Now, we're up to around about $500 AUD per month, which is about $6,000 per annum. And in USD dollars, that's just over, it's about 4,200 USD dollars per annum. So I've been thinking to myself, what can we do with this financial asset this channel now has? Now, last month, I was exposed to an opportunity. I went to a luncheon in Melbourne, held by the Grassroots Foundation. It was a cycling luncheon, and David Miller, who's a very well-regarded ex-professional cyclist, um, he has a fascinating story. It's one of the best luncheons I've ever been to, and they recorded the whole thing. So I'll link to that below. Next time you're on the indoor trainer, treat yourself. But in addition to hearing David speak, the luncheon, the conversation had a greater purpose. And I've got some snippets I wanna share with you right now. This club, for those of you who don't know who we are, we are a volunteer registered fundraising group uh, who raise money to help disadvantaged, underprivileged children access sport. We work with kids right here in our community who have some of the greatest needs. They're kids that have experienced neglect, uh, multiple forms of abuse, uh, they've struggled through life and we want to give kids the childhood they deserve. Everyone, the media, everyone always talks about people with addiction drug users. No one ever stops to think about what happens to the children that are left behind. So here's what we're going to do. Starting this financial year and in Australia, that's July 1, so from yesterday, we're going to donate 100% of the advertising revenue made from this channel just like our grassroots do it, directly to the Mirabelle Foundation and to the area of their foundation which helps underprivileged kids access sport. And I'm very excited and I'm passionate now about this course because I think about my own journey in life and I was lucky, I was very fortunate that I had access to sport and I know that sport played a major role in my early years developing me as a human being. So I think it's a great cause and I can't wait for us to get further behind it as the channel grows. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about is this magnificent bike stand, which I'm kind of leaning against. The bike is wobbling because the drawer is officially closed and now I've got to tally all the names under that video and we're gonna do a live draw. Now, I did say I'd do that on Instagram, but I'm thinking to myself after I said that, why Instagram? I'm on YouTube, this is where I spend most of my time. So why don't we do a live draw of the winner over a YouTube Live this Friday. Now, I'm gonna be on holidays in New Zealand on Friday, so I can't give you an exact time, and Friday New Zealand time is Thursday evening in the US and middle of the night in the UK. So sometime on Friday, I'm gonna do a live draw of the winner of this beautiful Westwood bike stand. Now, if I can't do a live because of internet connection, I'll publish a video irrespective, and I'll announce the winner of the beautiful bike stand. Now to finish this video up, I'm gonna share with you what happened this morning. I was so keen to share another husband and wife video, Alice testing out her time trial bars, us going up the beautiful closed road, the Gindia Drive, where they do the Noosa Triathlon, but it didn't quite work out. And I got left a little bit disappointed. So I've just been for a nice little roll this morning and I've organized to meet my beautiful wife. She's got an appointment behind me at 10 o'clock. She's bringing her bike. We're gonna go for a little cruise for an hour to check out Gindia Drive, which is where they do the famous Noosa Triathlon. She's never been there, she's on her time trial bars, but she's just dropped the kids off at gymnastics, school holidays here, so we've got a couple of hours to kill, but because she's had the kids this morning, and I haven't, I'm nice and relaxed, you'll probably notice 
a little bit of tension when she rocks up. And here she comes now, my beautiful wife. Hello. I'll come meet you down there. Good morning. You go. <laughs> so here I am on Gindia Drive, all by myself. That's right, my wife stood me up. Wasn't interested, changed her mind. Despite a couple of gentle reminders in the past 24 hours, are you sure? Nah, not interested today. So poor old Cam Nichols. He's finishing off his ride all by himself.